hi guys welcome to my channel again today i decided to go out with frank listowell and um leslie we are going to get some palm branches the branches are not what you want i want the leaf so whatever you guys the leaf i want to make brooms out of it so today it was i think the friday or is it a saturday no it was on a sunday afternoon and we decided to go for that um yeah so that is not far from the house we decided to i actually didn't want to buy brooms when i can make them and when i went to the village i didn't have nothing to do so i wanted to occupy myself with something that i can sit and be chatting with grandma whilst i'm doing it so this is what i decided to do get some palm branches and make brooms i'll show you the process So here we came to Ferb's place and um, yeah Frank was misbehaving so I asked him to leave where Listo was because it wasn't safe for him to stand at the back of him when he's cutting things with cutlass so I asked him to come and stand at where Leslie is standing and yeah this is somebody's cashew farm since it's uh, it's um, palm branches that we are cutting. It's not um, a crime. It's acceptable to just go to somebody's farm and take whatever you want. Not food or other things, but like palm branches is acceptable. Here I found some mushrooms that I thought were edible and he told me it wasn't edible. Ha! Painful. And um, I saw some um, thousand legs, those animals, those insects. I was scared of it. I'm not actually scared of them. I just don't like the way they crawl on people. They have too many legs. And um, they stink too. When you smash them, they stink. So I decided to play with it. And yeah, I left it alone to go away. I also went to my place. It came to where we were standing later. And Leslie was asking me whether I was going to kill it. And I said no. It didn't do nothing to me, so I'm not going to kill it. But yeah, it's fascinating how much and how many legs it has and how it moves and coils itself to protect itself. Yeah. So here, Listowa cut some of them and I asked him to let me cut the ones on top since he can't reach that place. He's a lefty, by the way. so this palm particular palm tree is very short we have different types we have the tall one medium one and um, the very short one and um, I was looking for the perfect the long ones but I wasn't getting it so I cut I think one or two of them and Frank decided that he was going to show up <laughs> something to everybody. A rot, <laughs> a rot and cashew fruit. That kid is full of things. Since I asked him to sit down and he didn't like, he decided to show a rotten cashew to everybody. So everybody, here is Frank with his rotten cashew. I didn't actually let him take it because it's not good for, it's not edible. It's not good, so yeah it's on somebody's farm 
the cashew that falls there is for the person not for anybody else so you can't take cashew from somebody's phone this is a different location that we went to and um frank decided to follow me here i don't think um i put it here but he decided to follow me and i asked him to sit back and i created a path though I created a path from so that we can enter the place. It's very cozy there, and uh, the reason why I was standing there and being um, slow was because I was scared. <laughs> so most people you said that those things, not right. something yeah. like. Yeah, so I went and cut some of the branches and brought them out. Yeah, yeah. Here. So this is how we um, take the, this thing off, the stick, I don't know how to call it, if you know the name you should tell me in the comment section, you use the cutlass to take the leaves from the stick, and um, yeah, this is the last one we were making, because the children decided they wanted to carry some, and if you don't give them, they are going to drown us with their tears, so I decided to make some for them. And we are making the last one, which ended up to be very heavy. So I took that one, made them. everybody take something a little suitable for themselves. Here is when we are about to go home. So as you can see after we finish we picked up everything we cleaned the place i don't think we caught that on camera but we cleaned the whole place before we left for the house so be rest assured that even though it's the farm and other things we cleaned the place we didn't leave anything on the roadside because when we came there was nothing on the roadside so we decided not to leave nothing there today that's how the people in my hometown are where you see something you put it back so yes, we threw the trash in the bushes yes, where we know that uh -huh. no, nobody will mistakenly fall or something to hurt themselves there we threw the, bush, the trash there and yeah here is when we went home Yo. Mm. Mm. So this is the process of getting the room. Um, you see when you hold the palm leaf, there is this stick in the middle of it which is um very hard that one is the what you use to make the broom so with that i use two fingers to pull that stick out without breaking it and the rest of it is trash so just pull the sticks out that's as you can see 
what I'm holding in my hand. I'm making it slowly so that you can see. The sticks are in the middle always. So you just pull it out carefully so you don't break it. And yeah, this is I think the day or two after I brought it. Because I was doing something else so I couldn't finish it. That was the last day I was making this process and this is the second process or I said the third process of making the bone yeah so this is how much of brooms I've made um, since I this is the broom that I made that day and I have um, like four times the amount on the floor inside so that it goes the goats are very stubborn. They wouldn't eat the ones on the floor, which are not good. They won't. So this is the final product, the final process, where I'll use a blade. People don't like when most people who sell brooms don't do this. But if you don't do it like this, and the broom dries up when you're sweeping, you end up making mess because the place that is not hard. That is not part of the stick. You see, it's a stick that you're using to sweep. If you don't use the blade to scratch that place off, that those small, small leaves that are left on it, if you don't like uh, use the bridge to scratch it off, it's going to dry up and it will break in the process, making everywhere you use the broom dirty. So that's why I make it like this. If you want, you don't make it. But I decided I prefer to make it like this to make everything easier. So it's not hard. You just hold the blade carefully without cutting yourself. Mostly we use dowel blade because the sharp blades can cut the broom anyhow it wants. So we use dowel blade. And yeah, this process, I don't allow the kids to make it. I don't allow them to get involved with this process because kids are kids and they can cut themselves with a blade at any time so i don't allow kids to make this one i made it myself with frank's mom and yeah even grandma didn't make this because grandma's eyes are not that much for good she refused to wear glasses so yeah this is the process in which you make a broom and yeah, thank you for watching my channel again please don't forget to subscribe to this channel press the notification bell and like the video share it with your family and friends and who knows there are so many videos I have from my hometown to show you and yeah we'll meet next time as you can see this is some um, the broom that I'm making I got like five ties five ties means some um, I got five brooms out of all the brooms we brought gave grandma some gave my sister some and I brought the rest here and yeah Thank you for watching and enjoy.